Good morning. We're at Illinois Beach State Park again this morning. And we again took Site 256 because it's such a beautiful site. And this is why. So I'm coming in through 257 or something like that. Pine floor is just gorgeous. Love this area. And good morning. <laughs> good morning. We had, uh, if you've seen the yellow electric cord, we had our electric blankets last night. Yeah, we've had a lot of discussion about these electric blankets and so damn great well a they're great and b the alternative is as i mentioned in an earlier video like 400 dollars uh super warm sleeping bag that can go to zero a sleeping bag or uh or or upgrade the tent to be a massive tent and have a heat generate uh a heater well you can't yeah what yeah I've i mean i'm, I'm trying to compare to like non-electrical solutions and uh you know hand warmers using chemicals would be another solution but right. you know right as i mentioned yesterday my feeling is that uh it's still cold we're still sleeping on the ground like this is not glamping no, I, I'm... and uh i don't know you got a comment saying well we're not really roughing it because we have an electric blanket well i don't know it's still you know 35 degrees and 32 degrees and we're still sleeping on the ground yeah it's definitely still cold and um, challenging and the alternative would be chemicals or spending you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars to to upgrade equipment to just that reason which may occur next year but for now right right i don't see it as much different as i mentioned as a frying using a, my wrought iron frying pan while car camping. I think that's a great example. We are car camping. I mean, clearly I couldn't take a wrought iron a frying pan in a backpack it's if we're It's just through as hiking. unnatural as, as, a, as a wrought iron. Iron, the electric yeah. Blanket is yeah. On a wrought iron. Rock My rock. feeling is well, but did need to address it. 